my people, we do a little driving this morning, a long distance driving this morning. Yeah man, I will come back to a spot where we came two times before. Yeah man, we have been here two times, so you know, we do a little driving this morning. She offers me Kenado and not your happy Jadi, that's Keron. Come back to a spot where we come and do a link up with some other YouTubers before. But this time, we never make no link. Uh, we never, we just do a drive out this morning. We never have a specific location where we say we did one go dive. So we just do a drive out and we come to this area back. We decide to watch this here and this is uh, the best area. This. So we stop here so and we're familiar with the area. Right? So we know how out in the sea, the, the, the structure. We know the reef area already. So we know so it's a great area. Stop here, so yeah, and the sea have a little whitey whitey, it's not choppy, but a little bit whitey whitey, all because of the wind yeah, and the visibility. Don't look too bad, it don't look too bad at all. From we can see, we can see the sandy area, so we know, say, yeah, man, the visibility. Okay, and the, the wind is heading, the current is heading down the sea, so we know, say, yeah, man. So we have a walk out the beach a little bit, jump off, and then. The current carry them. Alright, so come with us, my people. We are going to suit up yourself. Alright? Regardless of the wind and the water, the visibility was okay. It was about 80%, just a little bit sandy. So on this first dive I made, it was for a gold tail, but that one head for the deep. So right here I saw a nice red belly, it was hiding me. I spear it, but it was in the belly area while I was heading to the surface with it. It slipped off the spear. We were mainly seeing red bellies and gold tails, so this dive was for our next red belly. Two of them was down here, but they all hide. I saw a few more just in front, but they are too far away. This dive was for this lionfish, but I wasn't going through any problem today with these lionfish. So right here can have a spear one of the nice red belly. This 
this area is famous for them. A lot of them is here. So here is a next nice one. This was the first one I got. This is a yellow jack, or we call them butter jack. I saw a next lionfish here. I dive on it to try and stab it with my spear, but it was swifter than me. Next time I will come prepare for them, cause a lot of them is here as well, lionfish. I saw some surgeon fish here, so I made a dive just to see if anything else was swimming with them. It's been a while since I catch a surgeon fish, but never interested in any today. This is our next nice red belly. Here is one more. In our waters, these fish are skis, they are one and two. But as I mentioned earlier, they are plentiful here and they are on good sizes. We wasn't seeing any big fish, only these dinner size ones. So they were all we could catch. This is a nice jack. This one was my second jack. I made a dive here, I was just looking, but while I was down I saw that Kenado made a dive as well and pint and showed me a mackerel. The mackerel swam just behind me. I was trying to swim it down but it was moving too fast. I take a look on my right side and I saw Kenado in a school of jack. To me, they seems like some shots, but when I got close, I realized that there were some nice size jack. I head down, line up one, took a shot, but I only graze it. Kenado was still down there. He have to wait for a good aim because his spear gun is very long. 
which he did and he land one. I saw a few nice sized red belly here, so I made a dive, stop on this rock. I saw the red bellies over the next rock, but they wasn't coming in close. I looked to my left and I saw this barracuda swimming past, but still too far away though. When it realized I was there, it swam a little faster. These were some small grunts and hard side jacks. Two lovely red belly went down and eat this rock. I head down and this one came out. I took a shot, I only took a few scales off it. Canada took the flashlight to go and search for something in the rock here. I wasn't sure what. can see him searching. I followed him to see but whatever it was hide him. So back on the hunt. This was a next red belly. I speared that one and it ran underneath the rock with my line. Here it is. So this is a gold tail. I speared this one off camera. Red belly again. This one was swimming away. I take the aim, squeeze the trigger, but my safety was on. So this squab was hiding me. It didn't know that I saw it. It was depending on his camouflage. So this is our next red belly. And this was the last fish I spear. A jack, then after that we head for a land. Yes people, so we out of the water and all cheer for safe and soul. Today, tell you, it was a great dive today. Yeah man, the dive was nice. Yeah man, when you hear me say that, you know we get a great dive. The visibility surprised us cause me did I say it never probably go you know it never hundred percent but it 
it, it better than what we expect. Yeah, man. So, you know, we do a long dive today. Long, long, long dive we do today. And, you know, me and Kenado swim around go way down the sea because you know them side of the country. I just be a empty land, no houses. So, we swim go way down the sea and swim come up back. And all down the sea, just empty land, empty land. So, yeah, man, we find a nice catch. We don't find a huge fish today. We don't find the 10 pound, the man, the 8 pound them today. You know, but we, we get a decent catch, some decent chinga fish. Yeah, man, so this is our carry one fine. A nice bar jack. A one fish carry one fine. Because him not come down with we where we go. You know, him come in back early. Mm, so him find one lovely bar jack. That one a nice. Yeah, man. Nice bar jack. So this is a Kenado catcher, so. Yeah, man, this is a Kenado catcher, you know. A nice dog teeth snap on him of here. That grunter, what do you call a grunter? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you shoot them to you know, they grow big. And them are grunter grow the biggest out of the gun species, I believe, you know. Yeah, man, I see one today if you know big like a permit jack. So one today I got about five pounds. We ain't big terrati. And two red belly, you know? Nice red belly, two fat boy. See my man? Yeah man and a jack. You see pretty school of jack there? This is how we can to get one out of it, you know? Me miss the one me forget. Yeah, I only fish that me miss today, you know. That's the only fish we miss it. Out of the school of jack. Me no miss no more. Any other fish we no get, I want to tore off the spear. Yeah man, so this is a canard catch. This look like yeah man, so nice red belly. Me have ya. Nice red belly. Jack Quab. Yeah man, gold tail. Red belly again. Red bellies in our sizes. You want a nice jack again. Jack so. Red belly. Red belly. Yeah man, we see them enough today, you know. I mean did that if I'm both with the red belly them both. You know? We did find them. We did find them my people. Yeah, man, a nice catches, you know? Decent, decent. Lovely. We have all the perfection we can share up here now. So you see no more details. Yeah man, it's about how much gold tail at six years or plus two up there, so eight. Eight red belly, me fi say, and um, five jack, one gold tail and one quab, you know, and the big grunt there eh? and the dark teeth snapper. And so after the clean up, you know, cause you know, we come out of the water late, late, late. We go in the late still. Clean up everything when me have you know. Everything when me have well clean. Then I just still a clean up him fish. Last gun to my clean up there. All of these clean already. So we are go. We are go weigh them. I can't move and see how much them weigh. So we are go take care. Right? Get them here, you know, my people. Zero is scale. Let's see how much if I can 
work for selfish. Three and a half pound. Twelve bills a pound, we can go wrong. I mean, four. Demia? Nah, man, no for them here. I mean, I mean, I shoot as much, my people. We, we did a if I'm but you know. Yeah, man, a nice string of, of, of fish that we find, you know. Nice string, this, you know. Yeah, man. Three and a half pony scale, I say. Give thanks. Holy for thanks, you know. Yeah, man, I see what I'm trying to do. Yeah, man, so, see, can I string here? Nice. Yeah, man, light. Nice, you know. Clean up and pretty, you know, man. Yeah, the scream gone. Nice, but yes, sir. See him I'm out there, you know. The scream gone. Eh? Hold on, hold it back. Hold the fish itself. Oh, oh this is a ton of half, you know. Mm, oh, so we are, we are, we are real weird, we them. Yeah, lucky, lucky, all right. So we are weird, them we back, weird them back, back again. again. She and half that. She and half. Just a little bit over she and half. Just a little bit over for me. For me, we have a cheap pine five sitting. This is a cheap pine seven tree. Mm. Ah, it's still, you know? Good, good settings, all you know? Yeah, man. Nice, nice. Mm. Uh, bucket, you know? It's a fish bucket, you know, a barra bucket, any you know, fish you catch. Yeah. Yeah, let's put them in a vehicle. Let me hold them together, make you know, see. Hold two of them together, make you catch up. Yeah. They're pretty, man. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I should have had one man string that. One man catch. If me just selling up people, or that my string alone, that, you know, no joke business. I'm not a fan of when I'm out there. You know. I probably more than that. But you know, for myself and my family, so you know, we, we take the time and do it. Thing, but nice catches, you know. These things. I'll put me in the back of the bucket. You know. I'll get some ice and do it through in the bucket and them, you know. You stay cold because uh, we're actually in a Portland, you know. So. Fish easy if it's spoil, you know. Oh, man. Fish easy if it's spoil, so you go do it, you know. Unlike always, go try to do a little cooking. Put pan in a video, same way. Yeah, man. So I'm going to know my people. I'm going to stay tuned, alright? This is the catcher. Yeah, I don't know. Just get them off of the ice water. Me. Me glue, you know? yeah. So nice and pretty catch this. Yeah, you know? I'll share them now for me and my mother and such a you know? Yeah. Do a cook out of them in you know, so. Remember, you know. Remember, you don't go no way. Mm. So, you know, for the next day, this, you know, me and man and me have uh, four of the red belly, them, yeah. Four nice one. So, they all cook, cook on them. Yeah, man. So, watch what I go on the people. They want nice cook, cook and a breakfast, you know, because I know the morning, you know, you know. So I will get a uh, fish for breakfast. So we will cook, cook up on them. Yeah, man, that little the rice on this side. Mm -hmm. So let's see what I go on there now. So these are some of the ingredients so we are going to use. Uh, so, Kelly and thyme and hot pepper on this one right here. This one has onion and tomato. And this one has okra and Irish potato and this one of fish
già si abbiga la parte là guarda ecco che vuole il tuo merito un botta e hai Just go in Irish and Ophrey, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna be period for the fish, you know. coconut milk first I yeah, forgot that steam fish you know, some people steam it this a way that they way but that's still a steam fish some way it tastes better some way it tastes good this a way the bad man way you know Yeah, man, for go up your lens. I eat this, huh? Good. So take it off, you know. Yes, my people, so you don't know. This is my plate here, so. Yeah, man, I need a little rice, some one of the fish and some crackers and something. First, I plate them up for the rest of the family. So I'm going to see what I'm going to do here now. One of the nice red belly here, you know? Yeah, so once more, you know, give thanks to the support as usual. They don't know the thing set. Yeah, and NASA links are set. I do see you guys in the next video, alright? Which is soon, soon.